Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. Angular provides so many features and animations which we can use in our Angular project. But still there might be some scenarios where we need to use jQuery in our code. In this video, I am going to show you how we can use jQuery in Angular. Before using jQuery into our Angular project, we need to import or install jQuery library in this Angular project. There are two methods to get the jQuery in our Angular project. The first method is installing jQuery through npm and second method is we can use jQuery CDN and add that one in app component file. The method one which is installing jQuery through npm is the preferred method. Let's perform the first method to install type npm install jQuery space hyphen hyphen save then press enter it will install the jQuery library bundle into your Angular project. As you can see, jQuery has been added into our project now. So now we are ready to use jQuery into our project. This is the first method. If you want to go for second method, in the main file that is HTML file, you need to copy the jQuery CDN file within the script tag. And in Angular JSON file, within this script tag, you need to mention the jQuery bundle. As I said, this is not the preferred way to use jQuery. I will use the first method. That is, we have already installed the jQuery bundle using npm. So let's use some of the jQuery code so that we can see whether it's working fine or not. Let me remove this script. And from app.component file, let me remove this script tag. Save this file. Go back to the jQuery component.html. That is nothing but the component which I have created for jQuery example. As I said, now we are ready to write any jQuery code into our project. Before that one, let me run this project quickly. Now project ran successfully and opened in a browser. You can observe this title only now. Let me go back to editor. Here I am going to add two elements. One is button. I will name the ID as flip. Whenever I click on this button, I want to toggle a division which is nothing but I have added a division here. This have a dummy content within this division. So if I save this one and if you observe in the browser you can see there is a simple paragraph or division and one button here now and there is no functionality yet. One of the basic functionality that is sliding which I want to apply for this particular division. So as soon as I click on this button, this should get fade out and when I click on this button again, this should get fade in and display in this particular position. For that one, there is a jQuery code which we can use it here and provide that fading effect here. For that one, let me go to TypeScript file and as we are using jQuery here, we have installed the jQuery using npm. And before using this one in TypeScript file, we need to import that one. For that one, you need to write as import star as dollar from jQuery semicolon. Now we are done with importing. We need to write a function to call whenever this button is get clicked. So I'll copy this ID. For this ID, I need to write a click function. To write a jQuery, you need to write dollar within this one. I need to copy the flip that is ID and I a click function so within this one. So whenever this flip button is click, I need to toggle this division. For this division, I have named as panel. So let me copy that one and go back to the jQuery code here. I need to add that one and we have a jQuery code slide toggle and within the bracket add a slow. So this is a jQuery code which will toggle this particular division panel whenever we click on flip button. So now we are done with the code. Let me save this. It's getting compiled now. Go back to browser. Angular will refresh the page automatically. So now if I click on this one, you can observe there is a functionality or feature added. That is fade out effect which has been added for that particular division. If I click on this button again, it's getting fade in. So this is a toggle functionality which we have in jQuery. This is a simple example which I have shown here which we can add using jQuery within our Angular project. 
you can build many features based on your requirement thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please click on like button share it to others and subscribe to my channel